Hi, I'm Brian Leonard. I'm one of the product managers here in the HMI SCADA group here at Aviva. In this video, I'm proud to introduce to you Integration Studio, a powerful development tool used to create virtual infrastructures all pre-installed and licensed with development software that you can use to develop and test your applications quicker and easier than ever before. I personally come from a systems integration background, and as an SI, I know that some of the pains you can face are things like setting up demos and training your staff and your sales for proof of concept applications. Another big thing is project management. You need to be able to manage and track your customer's software versions and the revisions of the applications that are on those particular devices. Also, the infrastructures themselves. You need to be able to maintain those infrastructures for testing and demo purposes. And these sandbox environments are typically virtual machines, but you need to also obtain and maintain those resources those, that those virtual machines consume. Oftentimes, you'll all need to collaborate with other users during the development and the support of the projects. Integration Studio is an ideal collaborative development environment due to the fact that it's a cloud-based and you can access your VMs through the browser interface or through RDP sessions. You can even actually shadow existing connections made to users with permissions, of course. And you can do this from anywhere in the world as long as there's an internet connection. During the life cycle of a project, Integration Studio can be a valuable development tool in almost every phase, with the exception of one, the production environment. It's designed to replicate production environments, not replace them. It is, however, perfect for setting up sandbox environments so you can quickly begin development and refinement of the project without having to purchase any of the hardware for it. And in doing that, you maximize the warranty period for those devices. So how does it work? For each development license you have, you receive one seat for Integration Studio. In this example, this SI organization has three dev licenses and therefore has three seats. Within their tenant, they can have as many users as they wish, but in order for these users to get access to the tools, they need to be assigned to a seat. Doing so is simple and is managed by administrators within the tenant. Once they've been assigned to a seat, they can begin creating personal or public project templates and sessions of those templates. The personal ones can only be viewed by the owner and administrators, and public ones can be viewed by and modified by anyone within their tenant. Now let's say, for example, this SI brought on a new, super excited developer on board. Well, they would simply unassign someone from one seat, and their projects and sessions still exist and are waiting for them when they come back. For now, this guy can begin creating and using his own personal projects and sessions, as well as the public ones within his tenant. He can also be a member of his customer's tenant. In this example, they would like him to work on a new project using one of their standard project templates. So they would simply invite him to, you, to their tenant and assign him to a seat. He can now begin work in their environment using their standards that they have control of when the machines are running, view the progress of the work so far, collaborate with them, etc., all without having to grant them access to their corporate infrastructure. Okay, so that's great. Now how do you pay for it? Well, as I mentioned, each seat comes bundled with every development license, and you only pay for the amount of time that you, and the amount of resources that you use of each VM. You start by loading up your account with some credits, and as you consume those resources, the amount that you use will be deducted from your account. Once your account gets low, just contact your distributor and add more credits to your account. For development subscriptions, there are some added benefits. Uh, you get a monthly allocation of credits applied to your account every month. Depending on your subscription level, it'll get topped off and you can uh, use them as you see fit. If you run low, you can just add more if you want to and purchase them just like you would if it was a perpetual license. But Integration Studio will always make sure to pull from the subscription cup that you've earned before it pulls from the, uh, the purchase bucket. In this example here, I have a 2017 update to reference uh, infrastructure setup. I've got a GR node that's four cores, and it's storing at two cores, and a runtime with one core. Uh, here we have the cost displayed per hour of each one of them, and then we have the estimated cost uh, per hour if all of them are running at any given time, and the amount uh, it would cost uh, in a typical work week. Well, that about sums it up for me for this video. All that's left for you to do is go to integrationstudio.connect.aviva.com and try it out. My name is Brian Leonard. I am the product manager for Integration Studio. I invite you to check it out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please, please feel free to contact your local sales representative or me directly at brian.leonard at aviva.com. I thank you for your time. Bye.